Okay, now let's say we want to convert this backwards. In the previous training video on converting to 2007, we now want to revert that and convert it from 2007 Excel back to, let's say, 2003 or an older version. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, not everybody, like let's say your coworker or friend, has the latest version of Excel, and you want to give them something that they can open up and that's compatible with their older version, like Excel 2003 or XP. So what we can do is we can save it from the current version, XLSX or 2007, to what we have here, XLS, which is an older version, 2003. In fact, if I hover over it, it says 97 to 2003 worksheet. Now, even if you send them a 2007 workbook that has the extra X on the end, that's a 2007 format, they can still double click and try to open it up. The only difference is, is that when they try to open it up, they should get a little pop-up window that prompts them to download a patch, a patch file, so they can actually install on their computer and uh, read your 2007 Excel workbook. But some people, maybe they don't want to install that on their computer or mess with it. So, if you want to go ahead and convert this to an older version, let me go ahead and right click on this and delete it send it to the garbage can and let me double click on convert open it up now this is such a simple format I mean previous versions of Excel have you know bolded text and underline so the formats not too crazy I mean I probably could just send this and just be fine but you learn this in future training videos if I select a range here and I do some conditional formatting with data bars like I was just saying in the previous training video you can actually have uh, little bars within each cell there's 700 cells that quarter it's a little bit longer so to convert this let's go ahead and click on the uh, office logo button because we want to do a save as or if I click off in a blank area I already have the save as button on my quick access toolbar if I click on that what I want to do is I want to come down in here it's going to ask me two questions where do you want to save this well let me do it to my desktop okay and I want to convert this from XLSX which is 2007's format click on the arrow where it says save as type change the type to 97 2003 workbook now make sure you don't choose the template because that says 97 2003 that's XLT we want XLS so hopefully you're hanging with the extensions here and getting cool with them okay 97 2003 it's on the desktop the file names convert I'm gonna click Save and watch what happens by default Microsoft is turned on with the compatibility checker it says look you got some things in here that older versions of Excel may not be able to see the biggest warning that you want to pay attention is these features may, the operative word may, may be lost or degraded when you convert this to an earlier format. Do you want to go ahead and continue? Click continue. We're done. Once we're done, go ahead and close out. And there it is. I saved it on my desktop and it put it in the upper left hand corner. So now this is ready to email off to somebody. So when they get it, they can double click, open it up. Now because I have 2007, I'm not going to miss much by opening it up in 2007. But for those who actually open up in older versions of Excel, these bars may not be here at all. Now, I didn't have to continue with the conversion. I could have stopped right there and then gone through this, right? And then just clicked on the conditional formatting and say clear from selected cells or entire sheet. And then go ahead and save. That way you don't even have to mess with that when you convert it to a previous version of Excel 2003 or older. So at least that way you can clean up your formatting. For example, if I go ahead and close out of here, and I come back to convert, and I double click and open it up, and I go ahead and I, again, do some conditional formatting, some of the things that just aren't in older versions of Excel, I don't have to wait to save it, you know, save it as Excel 2003 to previous version. I can actually run compatibility checker from my Office logo button, come down to prepare, and down and click on run compatibility checker, I mean, you still have the option to continue if you save it or click cancel, but at least this way you don't have to go through the save as or get to that point of converting over. You can check it right here through, again, the Office logo button. And then it'll tell you, it's like, hey, conditional formatting, get rid of it, or at least know it may be lost if you convert it. And then click find. It finds it for me. Or let me click off in a blank area, try it again to prepare, run compatibility checker, find. There it goes. It selects it. Then I can go ahead and get rid of it by clearing it entire sheet, in fact just clean it all up, save it or convert it over to an older version of Excel, XLS, and then go ahead and email it to your buddy. You shouldn't have any problems.